the only yeah. thing people truly associate with your name is spirituality spiritualism focus mental health these are the three subjects of this conversation um right. of these three subjects which is the one closest to your heart or which is the one that you want to highlight the most at this stage of the human story i would say closest to my heart would be spirituality uh the most important in this time in in the human evolution i would say would be focus why do you why do you say that why do you say that focus is the one we need to highlight because most people aren't taught how to concentrate you know and and because they never taught how to concentrate they don't practice concentration and and without focus how do you achieve anything in life you know like mm. if, and what people practice all the time is distraction they they constantly shifting their awareness from one thing to another to another to another you can't have a conversation with somebody without them even being distracted for you know you talk to someone for 30 seconds and then they're looking at the phone or they're looking out somewhere else how would you get to know someone how would you have a, a deep experience if you're always being all over the place so back in college there was this one senior of mine who did extremely well at his exams and i and i'd always see him chilling and i'd asked him that you know how do you make so much time for your chilling space watching football watching cricket and then you go out and perform and get like the top marks in college he said that he just gives his studies his 200% his 300% so in the same 20 minutes that another kid would take uh to learn a particular paragraph or to understand something in a textbook this guy would like be finished with the third or fourth paragraph in those same 20 minutes basically he made much better use of those same 20 minutes um never understood it but in the long term i figured later on after i started meditating in life that oh yeah. man this brain is like a muscle that you can actually work you can improve and you can do more work in the same amount of time that you know say another person would do much lesser work in yeah No for sure and and the more focused you are the more efficient you are i mean with regard to the example we just shared it's also the person is uh you know probably is, has a better capacity to learn right or better ability to to learn than another person but but i would say in general if a person can focus they can definitely be more productive they can be more efficient but i think one of the greatest benefits of being able to focus is the ability to experience life fully You know how, how many times do you go out and you enjoy a meal, a really nice meal, and you, you go and you go to a restaurant with friends and because you want to enjoy the meal that the restaurant has, and you sit there and and you can't even enjoy the meal because you're so distracted. You know you you can't enjoy the things you do. You know you see people go to beautiful places and then get distracted with things and they can't really focus long enough on what where they are, or what they're experiencing to even enjoy it. And never they look go, yeah. they go through life with really really shallow experiences never ever looked at focus that way but what you said is so true um you know that even if you're walking in a park even if you're doing the most basic thing you're having a good lunch you stay in the lunch you stay in the park that's what people fail to do yeah i mean at the end of the day you know and we we, <clears throat> we have one life and well i'm a hindu so i believe in reading <coughs> excuse me i believe in reincarnation but i have one life as me and the next life i'm going to be somebody else and and in this life i really want to live a rewarding life i want it to be worthwhile i want it to be special i want it to be enjoyable in order for me to do that i need to be able to create these experiences in my life i need to choose the people i want to spend time with the conversations i want to have the experiences i want to have then the second step is i need to be able to be focused enough so i can actually enjoy those people enjoy those conversations i can enjoy those experiences i created for myself yeah. so many people work so hard to save money so that they can go on a holiday and when they go there on a holiday to some place beautiful they're sitting there and the whole time their face is stuck in the phone or you know if they're, they're looking at something and every time the phone beeps they look at the phone so instead of actually enjoying the beach or the mountain or the jungle or the forest or wherever they may be they're constantly getting distracted by things around so why work hard to save money so you can go have a beautiful experience 
to only not be able to be present in that experience to fully experience it. Just stay home. Don't work hard. Play on your couch. Mm. What, you know. What What do you suggest that the modern day human uh, should do? You know, what What are the practices? What are the thought processes that can actually improve this skill of focus for both your career and your leisure? Well, I, I think the biggest thing is that you need to make the case to yourself as to why focus is important. You need to sell it to yourself. And unless you buy in to the concept, you'll never do it. People will come on this podcast, they'll listen to it, they may get inspired for a few days, do it for a few days, and then default back to who they are. But if you're sold on the concept that you're right, I only have one life. At some point, I'm going to die. I don't know when I'm going to die, but I know I'm going to die. And how do I want to live my life? And how old are you? I'm going to turn 28 in a couple of months. Okay, so you're 28. You may think to yourself, oh, I'm 28, so I'm going to have a really long life. I'm still really young. I may die when I'm 80 or 90 or 95. You could die tomorrow. You could die right after this show, mm. right? Just because we're young doesn't mean we're going to live forever, right? People think that all the time. They think like, oh, I'm 15. I have my whole life ahead of me. Absolutely not. You just don't know when you're going to die. You don't want to mm. sit down all day thinking that you're going to die. That's a terrible way to live. But what I do is I always remind myself that my life is finite. I don't say it's short. I say it's finite, finite meaning that that's a clear, definitive end to it. You know, there's a fixed period of time. I can't change the end date. When my end date comes, I can't say like, oh, I need five more minutes. It doesn't work, right? So I know the time is fixed that I'm on this planet. How do I want to live that life? Mm-hmm. And when you can be clear on that concept, and when you when that reality is crystal clear to you, you know that this is a fact, regardless of your religion, whether you're a Hindu or Christian or Muslim or an atheist, it doesn't matter, right? You are going to die. Your life is fine, right? And it affects the number, the amount of time you get. Then you'll start to say, okay. How can I learn to concentrate? How can I leverage the power of focus in order to live the best life possible? Then you'll start doing something about it. But the honest truth is, when most people won't do anything about this. I can sit here and tell you all the ways you can concentrate, and 99% of the people won't do anything about it. I I mean, Yeah, you know, again, I the, the intention I put into each piece of content that comes out of my team's hands is that we're focusing on that 1% that will create change. Even if it's 1% of the 1%, yeah. that's mm-hmm. that. those are the people we're doing these conversations for. So, so 